good morning, Columbia, as you're going well past the wild blue yonder. Good morning, Bill. That song sounded vaguely familiar to me. Great to hear your voice. Well, we're ready for another exciting day uh, here in the space business. Uh, for right now, though, we're going to timbu up a fuel cell purge for you. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. This morning's uh, wake-up call, uh, the Air Force song by the United States Air Force Academy uh, Cadet uh, Chorus. That for uh, pilot Steve Lindsay, who is a major in the Air Force, and uh, Commander Kevin Kriegel, formerly of the Air Force. This is USMP4 Science Operations Control Huntsville. Science activities aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia continue to go well this afternoon. A new growth cycle is underway with the isothermal dendritic growth experiment. Uh, the study is designed to improve metals used in automobiles and jet engines. Uh, in the experiment, uh, materials are melted and resolidified to observe the growth of dendrites. You're looking now at live video downlinked from the Shuttle Columbia of the IDGE experiment as the dendrite grows in space in the microgravity environment. IDGE's lead scientist, Professor Matthew Koss of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York, says the science team is repeatedly performing growth cycles at the same supercooling. This allows researchers to obtain the best science data set possible for later analysis. And the growth cycles continuing with the IDGE experiment on board the Space Shuttle Columbia. Also today, uh, very uh, good reports from the science teams, both with Mephisto and another furnace on board Columbia, the Advanced Automated Directional Solidification Furnace. These views showing some of the uh, payloads in the cargo bay. Uh, these payloads, uh, many of them have been operating throughout the mission, uh, mounted in uh, canisters in Columbia's payload bay. They include uh, various uh, technology experiments, uh, studying uh, new technologies that can be used on future spacecraft. Uh, among those are a, a study of a heat pipe technology that can be used uh, for cooling a passive cooling system that would include no moving parts, being studied uh, for possible use on future satellites. That uh, experiment uh, is called the Loop Heat Pipe Experiment. It's sponsored by the Center for Space Power at uh, Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi, Texas. Also, uh, another experiment uh, in the cargo bay, along uh, with the heat pipe experiment, is uh, called the Sodium Sulfur Battery Experiment, uh, looking at uh, how sodium sulfur batteries uh, can operate in weightlessness, a possible source of uh, battery power for future spacecraft. Other experiments in the cargo bay that have been operating uh, throughout uh, Columbia's mission include the turbulent gas jet diffusion flames experiment. That experiment uh, seeks to understand the characteristics of uh, turbulent uh, gas jet diffusion flames in wasteless weightlessness. Training session underway, as we see uh, Jerry Ross here, is to evaluate the handling characteristics of the satellite. Uh, he and uh, his colleague Jim Newman have been passing the, uh, the mock-up of the Spartan uh, back and forth to uh, uh, understand and get a good feel for its handling characteristics. The Spartan uh, actually uh, weighs in at about 1,200 pounds, of course, in space with uh, microgravity. Uh, it really has no weight, but its mass is still there, so uh, it is uh, the prudent thing to do to understand the, the handling characteristics of the uh, Spartan satellite. So they'll continue this training session for another uh, couple of hours in the uh, water tank, which is uh, uh, near the Johnson Space Center here in Houston. And this uh, wider view uh, uh, gives a better uh, idea of the size of the satellite in relation to the two astronauts. And again, in this view, Jerry Ross is on the uh, left and Jim Newman is on the right. 
they are distinguishable by their air hoses, uh, which obviously are not used in space, but underwater they are. And uh, Jerry Ross's is red, and Jim Newman's is uh, white. ありがとう。